I'm Brennan Brazier. My new book in Canada is called Whole Foods to Thrive. In the United States, it's called Thrive Foods. When I was researching this book, some of the things I came across really surprised me. If one person swapped out his or her breakfast for a year, from a standard American breakfast to a plant-based whole food smoothie, the amount of CO2 emissions conserved would be the equivalent of driving a mid-sized car from Vancouver, BC to Tijuana, Mexico. The whole west coast of the United States. And that's one person, one meal. The average North American drives 12,500 miles. Now the amount of CO2 emissions created from the difference between a standard American diet and the suggestions I make in this book is equivalent to 13,500 miles driven in a mid-sized car. So if you switch over to the suggestions in this book, you're actually going to conserve more of CO2 than you would by cutting out driving altogether if you're an average American. Pretty shocking. Now if every American swapped out a standard American diet for the suggestions in this book, it would save the equivalent in CO2 of driving the distance to the moon and back in a mid-sized car that gets 26 miles per gallon over 9 million times. One of my goals in this book was to show the significant impact each one of us has on environmental preservation simply through making better food choices. That's what I try and do in this book is show what constitutes a good food choice. I developed what I call the nutrient to resource ratio. It takes into consideration the resources used to produce food and it takes into consideration the nutrition, the micronutrients, vitamins, minerals, phytochemicals, antioxidants that you gain from food. A lot of food scientists try and get more volume of food or they try and get more calories from food. That's not what we need. We, we do not have an issue with not eating enough calories in North America. We need more nutrition. The nutrient to resource ratio takes into consideration nutrition of food, the micronutrient density, in relation to the amount of resources used. So the amount of land, water, fossil fuel, and the amount of emissions created. So of course the goal is to try and get as much nutrient density out of food while expending the least amount of each natural resource. And that of course then would score higher in the nutrient to resource ratio, which would make it a better food choice both for personal health and for environmental preservation. These recipes are made within the same nutritional philosophy that I first put out in the Thrive Diet that came out in 2007. So high net gain, nutrient dense, plant based, alkaline forming whole foods. I enlisted the help of some of the top chefs in the world and they made amazing creations. Some are five course elaborate meals made within my nutritional parameters. Others are basic. Others take under five minutes to make.